Contact, contact, contact. The original setting behind this video was supposed to take place in a deserted building, surrounded in flames with gates coated with pig blood. But you see, how my budget is set up, yeah, you get what I'm saying. The good news is that right after filming this, we've already started on part two, and you'll probably see the same setting as the one in this video, except maybe a few extras with maybe some trap doors that have ugly one-eyed dangling creatures popping out of them, kind of like the one I'm holding in this video. Yep. The Chris Vector is the unusual YSL boots you have been giving the Peep and Tom eye ever since you walked into St. Laurent's. You figured that the secretly stalking approach would best suit your appearance because nobody wants to hear the guy walk up to the register and request a size 11 for the boots with spikes and big shiny cubic zirconia diamonds running across the laces. You don't regret your purchase until the next morning when you wake up with an alarming headache and buyer's remorse after realizing the champagne drinks from the sales clerk was supposed to be complimentary. Instead, it turned into three shots like it was last call at a college bar in downtown San Marcos. But I knew I was getting more than just a $1,600 gun that looked like something a gladiator would use in the Roman times. Because even though the Chris Vector might be the ugly fat person in the back of the club that catfishes men with an OnlyFans account, what's underneath that big voluptuous cinder block physique might be the reason why you pass up on the sexy whorish SIG P320 Legion. Hell, it might even be the best one night stand you've ever had, because boy is she one sexy shooter. The internal system of the Chris Vector is nothing like you've ever seen. No seriously, it's actually the main reason why I've made adjustments to my EDC bag. It's also actually the main reason why I've started a separate war bell setup as well, which we can leave for another conversation. Imagine an AR-15 platform cycling around after being fired. The velocity out the end of the muzzle creates blowback, directing a buffer towards the shoulder, which then causes the muzzle to rise, making it harder to stay on target. Now, imagine putting your hand up in the shape of a gun, then pulling your finger back while saying the words bang. Ladies and gentlemen, you've just shot the most sensational PDW on the face of the planet, aka the Chris Vector. Let me explain. The cycling system of the Chris Vector was created to mitigate recoil so that the operator's follow-up shots are consistent. The result is that you're able to maintain one-inch groupings at 25 yards while rattling a five and a half pound trigger like a madman. The magic happens when the bolt cycles back downwards in an L-shaped sliding channel right in front of the trigger group, allowing the gravity to bring down the energy. The magazine channel rides in front of the bolt, keeping all of the cycling components in front of you. Add the incredibly low bore access in sync with the points of contact, and those follow-up shots turn from Shaquille O'Neal at the free throw line to Jason Capone in a three-point shootout. No, seriously. But the delayed blowback system operates a little more smoothly when you have those 40-round glide sticks hanging out the bottom of the magazine channel. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention. This feisty little 9mm takes standard 17-round Glock Max. It looks like you'll have to make room in your Vertex Ready Pack after all. I mean, it's not like your Glock 17 will get jealous or anything and move out without paying last month's rent. But it will be hard trying to compete with a personal defense weapon capable of mimicking your favorite EDC firearm while harnessing the powers of an MP7. Except the Chris Vector has an RPM rate at 1200 and the MP7 is at 900. Okay, never mind, the Chris Vector is better than the MP7 and I'll bet a full day's worth of a rain session to back it up. That's actually a lot of money given on how much ammo I burned putting this video together. Now where were we? Oh yeah, the part where I talk about how the Chris Vector has an overall length of a standard AK barrel and still has enough rail space to include both backup sights, a light pressure switch pad, a big bulky EOTech and a magnifier. Talk about property efficiency. Hell, I need to talk to his real estate agent. There's a housing located on the back of the Vector where you can install brace devices. You also have the option to install an ambidextrous folding stock adapter, which is what I did. Without this piece, there is no versatile system. If you're an EDC backpack guy like myself and want to run several setups based off this layout, the folding stock adapter is a must. I connected it to an aftermarket brace device and that's where I have my sling setup at as well. 
The sign charging handle is located diagonally above the boat release button at the 9 o'clock position. You'll learn to appreciate this location because the mag release button is directly underneath both, making your workspace engaged at all times. The Chris Vector is an overall workhorse, but what makes it special is its capability to adapt to whatever scenario you're in. Need to handle two Joe Schmoes at 15 yards from the driver's side door? Need to carry out a secret mission to retrieve the G-Virus at an undisclosed location in the underground hive? You might even be in search of a home defense weapon that you can leave by your bedside. Pying rooms and cutting off distances shouldn't be an issue, especially with the option of doing it quietly. That's where the threaded 4140 chrome molly barrel comes into play. When it comes to personal defense in everyday carry settings, the Chris Vector succeeds. But don't get it twisted. You'll most likely see future videos of me running this as a primary weapon setup instead of in a bag, cooped up trying to get second string garbage time. I'll have some links in the description as to where you can find the Chris Vector if interested. As for now, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. To watch more content like this in the future, click the subscribe button. To get instant updates for the latest PPU content, click the bell notification icon as well, and I'll see you guys in the next video.